Hey folks, Rob Femmick from ICM Services here and I'm back with you at the Boat Warehouse in Kingston, Ontario, the world's largest four winds, Glastron and low dealer. And we're here with Dave Jackson. Rob, how are you? Good to see you, Dave. Always hey, good, good to see you. Good, good. So, uh, oh, Dave, did you do your hair for me? Yeah, yeah, actually, this is a, a boat test hair, 52 miles an hour on Lake Ontario about 20 minutes ago. So, <laughs> awesome. So this is as natural as I'm going to look today. Um, <laughs> You're going to show me a trailer. We're going to talk about trailers here. Um, Four Winds Glastron, one of the first two companies to pioneer the inclusive trailer in a package. I, I believe we're over 20 years doing this. What does that mean to a consumer? The trailers are designed at the factory to fit this boat and only this boat. It's not adjusted. It's not a throw under trailer without brakes. These are precision fit, balanced to the hull. And you'll notice that is because they've welded the holes, the, uh, sorry, the lifts exactly where the bunks need to be to catch the hole in the structured yeah. point. Yeah, they're welded right straight to the frame. I see that with the... Uh all the way along that's quite a yeah they're not they don't have brackets so you can slide around everywhere that's right no no adjusting the the tongue weight is perfect for every boat every boat is is trailer is precise to the same measurement um yeah folding tongues these are uh fairly common now but we've done it for years um swing away so now your storage length is reduced you're not smashing your shins on it in the driveway um all these trailers, all our trailers 18 feet and up do include brakes. They are hydraulic surge brakes. A simple system requires no extra wiring to um, activate them. Uh, welded bracket for the tongue jack so it's oh, not just yeah. you bolted on there. Yeah, I'm used to seeing the bolts just go around the, around the uh, neck, around the tongue. Correct. Uh, the are. mast is in place in one position. Again, it's welded. Oh yeah, you're right. Every time you load this boat, it has the same position. Right. Yeah, I have seen them where they get sloppy and loose and you wonder where it originally was and you just tighten it up and you're not always in the right space. Yeah, or you pull out and the boat's crooked and you're pushing on it at the ramp. Um, you may notice too, a lot of people go, oh, there's no load guides. Why isn't there load guides that the carpeted guides? Well, the reason for that is as soon as you approach this trailer in the water and the V catches in between the bunks, it, it pushes the boat into place. You cannot load this boat wrong. If you've loaded this boat crooked, it means your trailer was too deep. Huh. So at the boat launch, you look like a pro every time. Well, I noticed here, uh, like I've seen a lot of boat trailers. We all have, we're in the industry. I do love these fenders. I mean, I know this is a simple thing. It's a fender. What's a fender? I mean, who cares, right? But I care, especially when you get using it every day in the summer and you don't want to lose a weekend. This is a fender. Yeah, we I'm, love this stuff, especially at boat shows for companies that don't build a walk-on fender. Mm -hmm. As we're showing our boats to customers out here in the lot, we're climbing up and down them. We're jumping on them. That's wild. It's, it's, it's kind of uh, a way to show that there's a structure there. You can get in and out of the boat. Um, it's funny, at shows sometimes people start climbing up other companies' boat fenders and the salespeople just about freak on them because... <laughs> Don't step on that. Well, no, here you can step on our, our uh, fenders. Yeah. It's even got like, this is aluminum checker plate and it's riveted right to the fender. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good for traction. And actually, when the trailer's under the water, this uh, this these um, almost illuminate so you can see oh, yeah. what you're coming up against. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, welded on taillight brackets that protect the taillights. So if you back into something, well, it's not going to save the lens, but it's not going to smash the whole light off yeah it's not gonna rip it right clean yeah isn't that slick we've also got um and we can't see it from here rob but maybe you did outside is the built-in ratchet straps right to the trailer now I so did there's no loose straps they yeah. are on a ratchet system i did see that i know yeah. it's a little tough to see here folks but if you look uh, i'll break myself you can see them there and they're right on there right up to the transom yeah, there we go and uh, now this is something you shared with me outside and I thought was fascinating. The surge brake system on it has a five pin harness. Yeah, five pin harness. And there is a manual override this, so don't people freak out when they only have a four pin. The, mm -hmm. the, the, the fifth pin simply takes a 12 volt signal from your reverse light. So when you put your vehicle in reverse, the white light comes on, sends 12 volts through this. What that does is tell the trailer, I'm backing up, release the release the lockout feature and it's just a safety rollback feature there is an override for that for people who don't have a 
a special harness. Uh, you simply take the highway pin that locks the coupler down out of that highway position and when you go to back up you simply put the pin in this hole and that stops the uh, mechanism from moving which keeps the brakes released. Well that makes sense because if it's a surge system so when you're driving along and your trailer starts pushing you the surge system breaks the the boat that's what you want going forward. Exactly the when harder you, your pull, the harder the ball pushes on that the harder the, the brakes, brakes apply. On. But if it makes sense you're backing it at a boat launch ramp you're pushing on that backwards it doesn't want to go anywhere. No, it doesn't. That's right. <laughs> so it makes complete sense to have that. I was just noticing too, like this safety feature here, and this is this is just to this activates your brakes if uh, there's a disconnect. Oh, yeah, right? I hate to say that's the all else fails. So if everything comes apart on the highway, that's the last thing that pulls the brakes on as your boat heads for the ditch. Well, I have a fifth <laughs> wheel, and it's got a pretty small wire on it. Yeah, it's got a really small wire. I was I was admiring the fact that this is this is like a heavy gauge cable yeah, it's, it's tension cable yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's vinyl coated like every attention to detail is yeah. there mine's got the smallest little wire on it sometimes they wonder if it would actually activate or just snap clean before it actually operated the mechanism this one looks like it's going to be there to last well that's great well I, I know that the trailer is something that people sometimes overlook they look at the boat and they're hung up on the boat but this is what's going to carry your investment for years and years to come in it launches up and down the highway it's going to sit on the storage and it's an important element so yeah you have to ask uh, again when you're boat shopping a lot of companies don't include a trailer yeah if they do include a trailer is it a custom built for the fit for the boat trailer the other question is at 18 foot level a lot of companies will quote you a trailer without brakes which technically uh, i believe the rules in ontario now are if the, if the package can approach 3,000 pounds then it is mandatory to have brakes on the trailer wow so if the trailer doesn't have that in your quote you're adding five to six hundred dollars minimum to have a brake system put on the trailer. Ah, uh, that's no fun. So you're you think you're getting a great deal, and it's a little less or something, and you find out after you got to pay hard after or live without it, which isn't even safe. Well, yeah, and today with small sport utilities today, Rob, like great, you got a pickup truck, you can tow whatever you want, brakes or no brakes. But when you've got a small sport utility ranging at thirty five hundred pounds, the the boat. Is, is outweighing your vehicle, you need to have brakes on that. Especially if you're loaded and you got gas and you got water, Absolutely. you're carrying, you got yeah. food, you, who knows what you've got in it that you're going on your trip. That's right. So that's great. Well, thanks a lot, Dave. I really appreciate hey, it. Hey, once again, take thanks. care.